So we're going to be working on dribbling, passing, and shooting over the next few weeks. Today, we are going to spend the rest of our time working on some shooting skills. When you are shooting, there's one word that can help you remember the correct way to shoot. Does anybody know what word that is? Beef. Resley? What word is it? Beef. It's beef. <laughs> B-E-E-F. Each letter in the word can remind you of a different thing that you should remember so you can shoot correctly. Is this the right way to shoot? No. What about this? Like this? No. No. Like this? Okay. You don't want to see any chicken wings. You don't want to see any granny shots. Okay? Make sure you're shooting it the correct way. Um, we're going to be using a small arcade ball so that it's easier for you to get it up into that basket and we're going to be playing a game called copycat. When we're playing the game, I want you to remember the letters um, of beef and that will help you remember the right way to shoot. The B stands for balance. The first thing you do is get balanced and relaxed. Make sure that you feel good before you take your shot. Your feet should be shoulder width apart and you should be relaxed before you start taking your shot. The two E's are eyes and elbow. When you are um, looking at the basketball goal, you want to have your eyes focused on the back of the rim. Okay, because if you hit the back of the rim, that's your best chance of getting that ball to go in there. If you hit the front of the rim, what's going to happen? Probably going to bounce off. It's going to bounce back at you. Okay, so that's why you're going to aim at the back of the rim. And even if you uh, overshoot it a little bit, it might hit that back. square box and still go into the goal. Okay, so you're aiming at the back of the rim, and then the next E is elbow. You're gonna have one hand that is shooting the ball. That elbow needs to be right underneath the ball, and the ball is right here on your shoulder like you were carrying a plate of food at a restaurant. Okay, your other hand is a guiding hand that's gonna go on the side of the ball. So when you're getting ready, you got your bounce, your eyes, your elbow, and then the last letter is F. That stands for follow through. You're gonna take your shot, and then you're gonna spin the ball and flick your wrist like this. And then your hand's gonna look like this when you're done, like you're reaching into a cookie jar. Okay, everybody show me a follow through hand. Get your measuring ball. Shoot it up, flick your wrist, show me that follow through hand. There you go. When you are taking that shot, don't forget, you wanna flick your wrist so you can spin the ball. See how the ball spins when I take that shot? It should be spinning back towards you. Okay, everybody say balance. Balance. Eyes. Eyes. Elbow. Elbow. Follow through. Follow through. Make sure after you take your shot, you got your follow through hand up in the air. If you remember those things, that can help you have a better shot. Make sure you don't have any chicken wings out to the side. You shouldn't be shooting with two hands. That's now, fantastic. if when you're taking your shot, your ball is not making it up to the basket, can anybody give me a tip for how you can get some more power for your shot, Madeline? Dribbling. Okay, you can dribble before you take your shot. That might get you ready for um, getting more balance. Kayla? Dribbling. Well, you gotta shoot from uh, where you're shooting, but yeah, you can get closer to the goal. If you need some more power, just like when we were throwing the ball, we took a what? What did you take to get some more power for a throw? A step. A step. So you're using your legs to give yourself more power. When you're playing basketball, you're going to use your legs again, but this time you're not going to step, you're going to jump. So right before you take your shot, if you need some more power, bend your knees and jump up, and that will transfer that power from your legs into the ball. Okay, so if your ball is not making it up to the basket, you need to jump up when you take a shot, and that can help you get it up there. Make sense? You ready to play? Yeah. Okay.